In today's YouTube video, I wanted to break down a simple little concept that you can utilize out of the gun bunch that is going to allow you to be able to beat every single coverage in the game. It's a little bit of a twist off of um, a concept that we were talking about earlier this season and why it is so effective. So if you're new to the channel, I want to ask you to click the subscribe button. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we release every single day here on the YouTube channel. Now the, the, the concept that we're going to be taking a look at uh, in this video, I'm going to actually take a look. We might peek at this one other one. Uh, we might peek at Y curl, but really the one that I want to talk about today is the verticals play. And the reason why I want to hit on this is because there is a little bit of a nuance or a little bit of a different way to run this uh, than what we've been running over the course of the last several months. So I'll show you what we've been doing and then I'll show you kind of a new way uh, that you might consider running this concept. Also, if you're new to the channel or if you haven't signed up for our Patreon yet, um, that's where I post all my Madden eBooks. I've got 15 offensive and defensive eBooks available to you in the Patreon. Um, it's only $10 a month, so it's super cheap to get access to all that stuff. And the cool part is we do have a Gun Bunch eBook in there. We also have a Gun Bunch tight end. We have a Gun Trips tight end. And we're working right now on a tight slots. And then we're also working on some other stuff. We've got a spread eBook. Like I said, we got 15 of them. So uh, if you want to get better at the game, I'd really encourage you to join the join the Patreon down below. There's going to be a link down there that you can click on, and you can join that for just $10 a month. And the cool part is you can cancel whenever you'd like, but as soon as you sign up for it, you get access to all of the content and any new content that we release, any new eBooks, any new exclusive tips. We put a lot of updates out there as well for all of our eBooks. Pretty much every week there's a new update. Uh, so again, I would really encourage you to, to check that out if you're looking to get better at the game. But let's take a look at verticals out of the gun bunch. So what we're going to do uh, first and foremost is I just want to show it primarily against um, the Mabel concept. And that is a double flat. So you see here we're going to double flat and then kind of use her over the middle. Now the way that we used to run this play basically is we took the running back and put him on an in route and then we just snapped the ball. And you can still run it like this. This crosser on the left side will still get open. Um, it's probably one of the best, it's probably at least, I don't know if it's the best crosser in the game, but it's definitely one of the top two or three uh, crossers in this game. So you have the crosser pretty much against every coverage in the game. And then what they're going to have to do is they're going to have to use her the crossing route. Well, what that's going to cause um, is it's going to cause this wheel route to the tight end to oftentimes have separation right in that little pocket, as you can see right there, for an easy game. Now what the, the little tweak of this is, and this was why this was so good against man to man. So let's say that we get a defense that is basically like this against you know man to man coverage. The reason the, the, the in route was so good was it was so consistent at beating man. Right, and we could just throw it right there and kind of get up field. It was also really good because against like a match coverage, what would happen typically is they're gonna take this guy right here and they're gonna use her with him. And then almost every time what you would see is you would see something that looked kind of like this, if you will. And the cool part about this is they just run out of resources. Uh, if you put that in route there, you're just really flooding this zone. As you can see, and then you can run for, you know, if you have backfield mismatch, you could run for five to ten yards. What I want to suggest to you in this video, though, is a new, newer way to run this. And it's something that I talked about yesterday out of Trips Tight End, and that is by using this little wheel uh, to the back. And the reason why we want to do that is because it's all about the user. And the user is going to have to use her the wheel route, and he's going to have to use her the crossing route. Uh, on this play. So if we play in man coverage again, I'm going to put two purples out there and then we're going to uh, just put our user in a zone. What you're going to notice with this wheel is it's going to beat every coverage. Man, zone, it does not matter. You know, low ball. Of course, I say that. I throw a pick. Um, you're going to low ball that when he cuts. What you want to basically do is kind of read. You do have to read it, of course. Um, but you're, what you're looking for here is kind of this, in, this kind of path uh, to be able to throw it. You're looking to throw a low ball, so you want to have inside leverage, ideally. Um, so that was a quarter flat. I'll show you a kernel flat out of cover three. Typically, I threw that earlier just a little bit too early. You almost want to wait until he gets about seven to ten yards 
down the field but I'll show you that notice the curl flat is probably the hardest but you'll see right here you just wait there it is and you can cut that off and what I really like is backfield mismatch on that player well what happens specifically in Mabel is in Mabel coverage you've got a cloud flat and then you've got either a hard flat or a curl flat but the curl flats typically dropped at 10 or at five um, at five yards well the problem becomes now they have to use or the running back because these this double Mabel it can't cover this as you can see can't cover that at all and then now what you're going to be able to do is let's say they send let's say they send some heavy pressure at you this is one of the best pressure releases in the game specifically against man but it's also going to get zone so let's say they send a five-man concept and they're going to lurk the crosser uh, what you'll be able to do here is you'll just throw a low ball as you can see you can just kind of check it down and get three to five yards i threw it just a little bit early there you kind of with wheels almost want to wait and th the later you throw the wheel typically the better the route is so you know you get something like this and you get pressured if you just have some patience you could throw that about there and get about 10 to 15 yards so as you can see the wheel is so powerful uh, for that among other reasons now again let me go back to that mike blitz three with two purples um, because this is a concept that i think will gain some traction um, in terms of a defensive coverage but what you'll notice here is if you wait on it notice that curl flat's actually playing pretty decently inside obviously you've got your tight end on the other side um, and I won't I, I don't want to spend too much time talking about that because you already know that but um, you know this curl, curl flat is actually defending it decently uh, out of man coverage but if they have zone drops on that's not gonna happen um, if you're getting that something like that you can go back to your standard in route or whatever uh, but typically this will um, typically that will get open a little bit better than it is in this video because they're gonna have it zone dropped um, and when they have it zone dropped it's not very good <laughs> um, you're gonna be able to basically throw it all day uh, but another little way little trick around it is a running back streak what you'll notice here you're gonna low ball it just like you would the wheel and notice that the defender won't react um, in coverage so if you start to get a lot of the fan zones um, then you can easily go to something like that we haven't even hit on the wheel wreck to the tight end obviously that would be open for you as well but against cover two um, you're gonna notice here you can low ball it and again you just kind of pass lead it open it's just a, it's literally the probably the ultimate check down uh, this year it's so much better than I think we originally thought it was gonna be and this is gonna be a shaded down cover two the problem is if they shade down in their cover two now you've got all that space over there where you can hit your here wide out and of course you could still hit the wheel or the crosser so anyways just utilizing the wheel um, to be effective in man uh, or in or in zone is really 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 good this year and it doesn't matter if they send pressure or not uh, typically it's one of the best pressure releases in the game because it's just so hard to guard so you have that on top of this route to um, this route to the crosser where they basically have to use it if they don't you can throw that there or you could also throw that on the sideline so anyways guys that is the verticals concept if you want to learn more about this offense join our patreon uh, for just ten dollars ten dollars a month you're going to get access to the entire um, ebooks all of them the entire library i've got 15 offensive and defensive guides we update that patreon probably two to three times a week with new updates to ebooks or new ebooks or new concepts uh, or just kind of breaking down what pros are doing the meta if you will so if you want to get access to all that stuff really be able to stay on top of things i'd really encourage you to join it it's only ten dollars a month you can cancel whenever you'd like to uh, but you're going to get an access to an absolute library of content on this game to try to help you understand what not only how things work but why things work and what you can build uh, conceptually formation to formation defense to defense offense to offense so if you want to get all that stuff and you're still watching the video head on down to the description below and go check out the patreon